Well, hello, hello. Today we're going to talk all about client and customer loyalty and how to utilize social media to help you out with that. Welcome, welcome. I'm Bridget Brady. I am the founder and CEO of Amp Up My Biz. I am the creator of the Social Media Success Academy. I'm the author of the number one international best-selling book, Jobs to Jammies. And this, my friend, is your Amp Up My Biz social media 10-minute training. So you all know if you're here live, please say hello. <laughs> I'm going to open my comments. If you're here live, please say hello. So as you very likely know, to acquire a brand new client or customer typically costs a lot more than retaining current clients and customers. Yes? Yes or yes, of course, right? The time, whether it's advertising dollars, whether it's time spent by you, time spent by your team, filling your funnels, writing your emails, putting out your ethical bribes, all of the things that we do, networking events, referrals, all of the amazing things that we do as business owners to acquire new clients. Um, hello, <laughs> hello, Wanda, hello, Gwen. Thank you. I'm so glad to have you. So. The paradigm shift that I want to talk about today is what are some things that you can do in your business and specifically today on social media to help retain your existing clients, to help build loyalty amongst your existing clients and customers. So I have three hot tips for you today, and I hope that you can take these tips into your business and uh, retain, retain, retain those clients. So number one is your social media content. All right, I know, I am the broken record of all the broken records about this, my friend, but you must be putting out valuable content on your social media on the regular. It positions you as the authority. It lets your clients and customers know that you are the go-to person in your industry. You are the person they need to be listening to. Let me tell you what, I'm in the online marketing space. I'm in the social media marketing space. Do you know how many emails and messages my clients and customers get every single day, which sounds something like, I'm going to grow your following by 10,000 people for $1, or let me do all your social media ads for $100, or right, take, my, take my workshop for 50 cents, right on and on and on. So number one is just all the things we talk about, all the things that I talk about here with you, all the things I talk about in my courses, all the things I talk about with my clients, have a really great content calendar. We're not going to talk about content calendar today, but have a really great content calendar. Be consistently promoting your value. Give, 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 right? Consistent action over time is what builds this. And it what's it's what lets your clients and customers know that you are the go-to person and there is no one in the world that they would rather go to. That's number one. Number two is the idea of creating more of a community. So you can create a Facebook group. Facebook's all about community. You can create LinkedIn groups. There are different ways on social that you can create private communities. So let's talk for a moment about Facebook groups. These are one of my favorite ways to create a private community that absolutely can be vibrant and exciting and get people into a private group, share space with you, share space with other like-minded individuals, whatever that is, whether, <laughs> whether you own a bed and breakfast, whether you own an online marketing company, no matter what that looks like for you, creating a community is one way that you can honor those people. So I have a client who has medical devices and he has a private Facebook community. It really doesn't matter, but it's a great way to say, come on inside and I'm going to give you something extra, right? You're going to get more of my time, or maybe you're going to get more special deals, or there are going to be opportunities to win things, or there are going to be opportunities to go behind the scenes with me, or there are going to be opportunities to network with other members of the community. So I invite you to take a moment, right? Take a moment and think about 
if you were to create a community, wherever that might be, Facebook is one of the best places to do that. They make it really easy, right? They make it easy. People are very, very familiar with Facebook groups. So I recommend making it a private group, right? Depending on how exclusive it is, it might be hidden, it might be public, but no matter what, I recommend making it private. Statistically, and I know this in my own experience, statistically, people feel much more comfortable to share in a group, to be part of a group that is private. So think about what value can you add to your community in a community, right? If you bring everybody together, think about real, real world. If you brought everybody together into your backyard, all your clients and customers, what could you give them, right? Okay, so think about that in terms of your Facebook community. Third is what extra can you do for the followers of your pages, for the likers of your pages, for your subscribers? Do you go live? <laughs> do you add value in that way? Do you potentially add, give people discounts, right? There's a lot of different ways that you can do this. And I'm not necessarily like a huge fan of like discount, discount, discount. I'm not a big fan of that. And how nice is it to say, hey, you're part of my community, right? You're on my list. You're on my Facebook group. You know, you, you like and follow me. Here's a gift for you. So that's a possibility. Really, any other, in, you know, insider specials, can you give people on social media who like and follow your pages sneak peeks of what's coming up? Can you take them behind the scenes, right? So it's really about, just like all things in marketing, it's about taking a moment to really consider your ICA. Like really think about your ideal client avatar and say, what special value can I bring them? Not buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, right? We talk about that ad, I talk about that ad nauseum, right? Like do not, that is not your, that's not the byline of everything you do, right? What value can you add? And then through number one, creating incredible content for them that's, that, that has them think, I'd be a fool to go anywhere else, possibly creating a community for your clients and your customers to give them extra value and or think outside the box, brainstorm ideas that you can implement on your social media, through your lives, through your pages, through your list, through your email list, where you can give your insiders, your clients and customers, even your leads and prospects, something extra, something extra special that nobody else gets. 